you think about what the average person who just wants to get into this business uh, could get out of this. For $10 a month, I mean, or, or under $10 a month, you could actually test a product. You could test a few products at different, uh, different points in time, uh, put money into it, see what your returns are. Uh, like I say, what I consider, when I consider the past seven years where I've spent literally tens of thousands of dollars developing my own products, my own websites, my own campaigns, bringing in uh, services and, and technologies from different locations, contracting with programmers, contracting with marketers to build the things that I, that, that, that are working for me to some degree and are providing me with money. But you guys have come out with something that for $10 a month, these people get everything. I spend just on my databases, just on my databases. I spend $250 a month. You guys provide all the database backup for someone coming in that... Uh, yeah, a lot um, of people don't recognize that, yeah. that component of it. What about, what do you think about the analytics side of it? Well, th that's another thing, is if, if someone wants to get free analytics for their website, they can, and they normally won't know what they mean. Uh, if you provide strong analytics as to what, what the conversions are, when they're converting, uh, you know, what campaign did work and what campaign didn't work, say they get a couple of landing pages or a few landing pages, and they test different marketing strategies, the, whether they're using paper clicking or, or they're using some sort of organic process or they've contracted with some company to help push their landing page to the top of the search engines. Uh, they can determine pretty quickly as to what's making them the most money in the most effective way. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. It's, it's absolutely phenomenal to me. Uh, I will do this. I, I have stacks. I, I've become a programmer. I become a digital marketer, and a digital marketer is different than an SEO professional, search engine optimi optimization uh, professional. Digital marketer needs to figure out where the traffic is and get it to the site and get conversions and realize what you've actually done. It's not an accident. You've actually worked toward directing the traffic into the right location to make the sales. Now, I can take all of my PHP manuals, all the things that I study, all the things I do right now, and I, I will not open them again. I, I will focus on this and I will do better not worrying about all of that, that behemoth that I've built for seven years and I'll focus on your product which is streamlined which will enable me to do everything and more than I was able to do with my product line or with my technology line if you will. Uh, I'll save money and I'll make more money in the process. People don't have to come into the t into this industry now and think, well, gee, where do I start? Do I start with HTML? And do I need to learn CSS? Do I, what, do I, who do I hire for marketing? What, who's my SEO professional and what, what does all of that mean? It doesn't matter anymore. You have all the tools, all the technology, everything all in one place. Just starting out, they will save more money than I do right now trying to reorganize all the stuff that I've built all these years. Uh, I, I will save a ton of money as I finish converting everything over to add to action.